and welcome back guys so we're gonna be playing some rust and yes i am in the middle of the ocean how the hell is this possible right so someone introduced me to floating foundations which is a plug on this server for alliance games now there's a slight downside to my team at the moment let's see if we can wait for the water to recede you see those floating barrels yeah Apparently you can make floating foundations. Someone taught me how to make floating foundations after someone was complaining that the RP town was lagging them. And I just kind of looked at them like, okay, we didn't have a problem until you came over here. So if you have such a problem with this and you should have saw the chat, they're sitting there, can we delete it? No one's using it. And I'm like, uh, excuse me, I'm using it. And it's on you. It's on you know this platform. You kind of get the idea. You know, it's on a social media platform where people can watch the video. You kind of get the idea. And like, oh, we don't care. We need it the server to be performance. And this is using performance. And I'm like, no. The reason the map's lagging because the map's too small. If you got too many bases on the server slash map itself, it has nothing to do with the RP down. But anyways, I had one of those people that would come over thinking they know it all and saying, oh, if we delete this, the server will stop lagging. I just kind of looked at them, you're stupid. <laughs> but you kind of get the idea. It was some angry farmer guy that apparently logged off in the cave over here. Then apparently there's a cave here. And I went down here to see if there was like nodes or something down here. And there's some farmer guys that's sleeping down here. And apparently he came out here and he has a really crappy PC and he was lagging. Kind of felt bad for him, but... In the end, he certain turned out to be super toxic, and I'm like, yeah, no. Now nah, I don't feel so bad for the guy. <laughs> but anyways, you, you kind of get the idea. Anyways, the idea here is to build the RP town in the ocean next wipe. And of course, seeing not a lot of people have used this plug, it required me to do a lot of testing. Meaning, seeing a lot of people couldn't give me some input of how this works. Or, you know, because not a lot. Is from what I've been told, no one really uses this plug. So I'm like, screw it, I'll try it. <laughs> so how does this plug work? Well, you have to be next to a level two workbench and I'll just kind of show how this works. So let me get on my tugboat here. You need a level two workbench. So it's gonna show up like this, but we need one of these. And we need some metal. I tried planting an oak tree on a planter, it doesn't work. Oh, we need to be back here. Do we? So now we want to be holding our building plan. We're not going to notice this popped up. You're like, what the hell? Yeah, what the hell, dude? So I click this. Oh, look! Loading foundations are appearing. I had to make more of these, anyways. Come out here, and I'm not going to be able to build right next to the boat there. It's going to take multiple tool cabinets to maintain this, and we'll talk about what's going on with my teammates here in a little bit, just so everyone's on the same page. So, let me... So usually, you would have to come out here and place it like that, but I already have mine, so... All I have to do is do this. Oh look, it's letting me build this way. It wasn't letting me do that before. Let's see how far I can build. So the idea is to build as close as we can to that. This way you don't need a tugboat or a boat. You could just run over. <laughs> but it kind of gives the idea of what we're going for for next flight. We're going to be doing something like this. A, a why boat over or, you know, buy a, um, what do you want to call it, a tugboat or boat when you can just have a base right next to it. <laughs> but anyways, um, yeah, pretty much that's what we're going to try next pipe. So right now we are too close to oil rig and it's making this bed that we have here where we cannot spot on the bed. So I'm going to guess that there's a giant circle around here that prevents you from spawning back. So we would have to build in this area up here or somewhere out of distance of the oil rig. 
So I'm just going to turn off in-game sounds unless you want to hear the helicopter. Oh, it's so much more quiet now. Oh. Um, yeah, that's pretty much the goal here is we're going to build as close as we can to oil rig, but far enough away where we can still respawn in our beds. <laughs> uh, the idea here is, you know, everyone lar runs large oil rig eventually, and it'd be pretty interesting to have a water base last village out here. So I think we've decided that we're going to do wooden platforms. And as you can tell, I've been doing a lot of experimentation of how far can you go outside the map with these floating foundations. So the problem here is we have a floating foundation base out here. The issue here is your tugboat responds when the server restarts. This goes for all servers, apparently. Same thing went out here. I was stranded out here. Someone had to fly a mini all the way out here. Like, what the hell are you doing out here? <laughs> and that's pretty much what happened there. Um, so over here, as long as I put my tugboat in between these two foundations, it will stay in place, which is pretty interesting that it wouldn't stay up against a foundation by itself unless it's actually touching it, which is pretty interesting. So I've done quite a bit of testing. Uh, I know it's not much of a gameplay or content that you guys are looking for, but it's more of a kind of update of what I've been up to. I've been testing out this plug to see how far we can push it, <laughs> seeing that not many people use it. And I kind of get an idea why not many people use it because the boats like to respawn on restart and it's kind of annoying to go and get them every single time. But as long as we do something like this for a boat dock, it seems to stay in place. So you know, it's got its gifts and curses, I guess. Um, regarding the RP town, it's doing all right. I'm not having a lot of people move into it currently. And we have uh, four days before wipe. On, I think it's going to be you know, December 6th, Wednesday is going to be the purge, I think it is. Pretty much, it's uh, when they lift all the rules where the server no longer is no longer PVE, it becomes PVP, and you can raid bases. I don't see the point of raiding into bases on the server on purge when you can only keep the loot for 24 hours. I could understand if it was like a BP wipe, and you don't have all your BPs, and you're, you know, raiding into people's bases to get BP BPs. I could see that, but yeah, I don't see the point of writing into people's bases when you already have everything. And it's a BP wipe this wipe. So you kind of see my point of view on this. So what else have I been up to? Because you guys haven't heard from me in a while. Well, I finally set up a Rumble account slash Rumble channel there. And it's a lot like YouTube. I'm liking the fact that I can upload a video that's an hour and 42 minutes for eight minutes. And, um, you know, when I heard that YouTube might be slowing down people's browsers where they can't upload a video to YouTube as fast as you would normally, if you were to run, if you were to use Chrome, you could upload a video in five minutes. If you were using Firework, Firefox, you'll notice that your video takes about, you know, for a video that's an hour and 47 minutes long, you know, you'll notice it takes 60 minutes or you know 70 minutes and you're like what the hell um i don't know if any of that crap's true but i noticed if you use char chrome it uploads faster if you use firefox it uploads slower and what i figured out is over on rumble you could upload a, a video for uh one hour and 42 minutes within five or six minutes. It took me eight minutes, but you kind of get the idea, you know? It uploads a lot faster than YouTube right now. Uh, if I was YouTube, I'd be doing some way to make it so that it uploads faster for YouTube, but you kind of get that idea. That's why I liked over there is, you know, it uploads a lot faster than what it is like over here on YouTube. Uh, what I'm liking about YouTube in their recent update, they made it so that you can turn off ads on your channel. 
Uh, what I'm not liking about Rumble, I don't like that every single time when I upload to Rumble that you've got to say, okay, who recorded this video? And of course, I go AI, AI, AI Dark Angel, of course. And of course, I go, okay, what is this about? And I'm like, of course, we're playing Ross. Uh, yeah, doy, you know. <laughs> I don't like that part of Rumble where you have to explain that kind of crap that's not going to be required by the video itself. It's just kind of like feedback, and I'm like, ah, that's something I didn't like about Rumble. Um, regarding YouTube, like I said, I said what I didn't like. I didn't like the upload feed time. I didn't like how long it took to upload. Uh... You know, I have, I did not like hearing that YouTube might be doing things that they shouldn't be doing. You know, I did not hear that. Um, I really don't like getting spammed with ads when I'm vibing and listening to music. You know, that shit's a great turn off. Uh, but you, you kind of get the idea. I figured, you know, people keep talking highly about Rumble. Fuck it. Let me go on over to Rumble, try it out. If I make money over there, I make money. If I don't, I don't. Or at least I tried it, you know. I think I've followed the instructions as, as instructed. I think I've done what done it correctly. Like I said, new to the platform. You, you know, you, it's possible to make mistakes over there. I uh, think I'm doing, like, uploading the videos as required or what the requirements are for over there. <laughs> Only one way to find out by doing it, right? <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's pretty much what's going on with this. So what's going on with my teammates regarding Rust? So they think it's too easy to get stuff on the server currently. That's my current problem, is I'm going for groups like it's candy right now. So I joined one group. And I waited and waited for them to get back on. They used to play like Diablo. And yeah, they um, they don't, they no longer are playing Diablo. I came back, and I was no longer in their Discord server. So you can kind of see where I'm like, okay. And apparently, they don't they don't play the server anymore. So it's like, okay. And then I joined another group, which I'm in that current group right now. And they got bored and left the server because they didn't like that the server became a three X. And they didn't like all the new stuff that the new admin put in. So it, it, it kind of you kind of see the situation here is I, I feel like I'm going for groups like it's like I'm at Walmart picking out clothes, <laughs> like I'm shopping for clothes. Uh, so it really depends on what goes on next wipe. If I'm still with the previous group that I joined, or if I go with a new group. Uh, that's pretty much what's going on is the current group I'm with on the server thinks it's too easy to get stuff and they literally left the server for another server thinking that it was more of a challenge over there basically so I might be back to finding another group to join again <laughs> it's always something uh another news I'm doing all right in VR chat itself uh, I've been working on maps for over a couple months now. Uh, yeah, that's not, my, not much going on. I'm trying to find other games. I'm trying to finish off playing Starfield. I'm trying to get that series killed off. Uh, I'm going to be playing Heaven's Dock. Looks like an interesting game. It's just not a lot of stuff to play right now. It's quite dull. <laughs> you know... Anyways, I hope, you, I hope this was enjoyable to watch and hear, hear that I'm still alive and doing alright and live and cooking. Uh, hope this was enjoyable to go, holy shit, how, how the hell are you bo building on the ocean? How are you walking on water? <laughs> uh, yeah, it's expensive. Let's, let's kind of look at one of these tools. Okay, it's 1,878. Let's go take a look at the 8x8 uh, over here. Let's go see how much this takes to maintain. I have a feeling when I start building the RP town here on the water, it's going to cost me an arm and a leg. Oh, holy crap, it's 5,000 wood. Yeah. 
you, you kind of get the idea. It, it, it costs a lot. <laughs> and this is not even fully built out, so keep this in mind. Each uh, crack you see here, like space here, this is an individual tool cabinet by itself. So I figure I'll go ahead and get me some foundations and let's see how far I can build that way towards oil rig. Let's see how far I can go before things start shooting at me. I don't know if I like the noises these make. Sounds like inner tubes. I don't have much more left. Okay. Uh, we're gonna need some more of these. Give me those inner tubes. Get us uh, some wood. I don't know. I mean, Rumble is a good backup in case YouTube ever completely screws up to a point where, um, you know, y you get the idea, you know. It, it, it is a good backup in case YouTube screws up really bad to a point that they get shut down, you know, you kind of get the idea, you know, it's, it's a good backup. <laughs> they won't like that I said that, but if they understand where I'm coming from. How far can I build next to this monument? I don't like how close I can get to this thing. Saying I can see him right there. <laughs> oh no. You are not allowed to place as many foundations near here. Okay. Well, that's an easy fix. Um, we need to do this. We are not allowed. One, two, three. Like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Away night. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I don't know if I do well. These. Looks like it's sank. People just kind of look at me like, really? What is this crap? You need a proper. Uh, you need. A, oh, I'm out of foundations. All right. It's over there. Hey, you're out of foundations. You can't do that. Pretty much. So yeah, when the purge happens, I'm probably going to be out here building onto this. And I'll probably just get rid of all the resources in the main base, because I just don't see the point of leaving stuff in there. I'll probably use it up the day before wipe. 
That's why I usually do. And then if I find a base that has like rockets or C4 in it, then I'll pop into it real quick. You, you kind of get the idea. It's like, eh, eh. You kind of see the idea. It gets, it's very easy to you build foundations here for these floating uh, foundations. Yikes, can't speak. All distracted and shit. Try not, not swear as much. It's a hard habit to break. You know, when you know these words fit well, you like to use them a lot. So you kind of see why it's hard to break the habit. Hey, come back here. I need my wood. Where am I? Watch Rust developers be watching this. How the hell are you building all the way out there? <laughs> I'll be like, okay, we gotta address this. We gotta make it so this plug in, play, plug in can't do that. <laughs> Probably. I wouldn't be surprised. I walked too close. Oh! Stop shooting at me. Ah! I didn't sign up for this. Guess I'm not walking on sunshine anymore. <laughs> so we we literally just got told, hey, you're too close. So I'm not building any farther. I will break this and this. But uh yeah, uh, apparently we got close enough for that we got shot at. We won't talk about it. <laughs> Apparently we're close enough to get shot at. But anyways, make sure to hit the like button, make sure to subscribe button, make sure to hit the follow button, and you kind of get the idea of what I've been up to. Went ahead, checked out Rumble, see how that plays out. Been busy playing, experimenting with this. Uh, been questioning if my team's gonna come back and play this server. Apparently think they think it's too easy. And yeah, yeah. Just trying to keep busy and not bored. <laughs> and right now I'm kind of bored because I already have everything I want. Uh, thankfully there's a BP wipe happening on the server soon, which is a good thing. But uh, you kind of get the idea of what's going on with me. Is that I'm kind of bored of Rust right now because it's too easy to get everything on the server right now. And there's not many games coming out right now, so you kind of see the problem I have here. <laughs> uh, I'll drive over to the RP town so you kind of can see what it's like driving over there in the boat. And then I'll end it. Not much going on, just my, me trying to figure out if this is hypo uh, you know, hypothetically worth doing or even possible to do then it might be possible to do with an RP town. So let's drive over here. 
It's been one of those nights where I've been trying to record and it's been either too noisy, you hear the cats going up and down the stairs, or someone intentionally makes too much noise just to get their two cents on the video that you're trying to create. It's been one of those nights. Pretty much. One of those nights where you want to record your gameplay, but you feel that it's not very professional when you hear all this background noise. It's one of those nights. I'm actually pretty surprised there hasn't been any background noise so far. Which, I'm not trying to jinx myself here, but you kind of get the idea. But yeah, it's a hell of a sight. Uh, come on over here and seeing green and snow biome. A little pissed at my teammates. We finally get the heli tower up to sheet metal and they don't even get on to play and use it. Like, really? Are you kidding me? It's a little laggy loading it in for the first time though. Don't you love it when this lemon guy asks a question and no one's responding and is either clearly busy or sleeping? This is why I usually have the chat muted, so if he continues to be harassive in chat, I'll just turn off chat, but maybe he finally got the answer, everyone's busy, probably doing something. I'm pretty sure Dusty's sleeping right now. I mean, it is 2.35 a.m. in the morning, so I'm pretty sure he's sleeping. But yeah, it's a hell of a view. Uh, then as long as I have the tugboat against that little dock slash pier there, it will not respawn. But as soon as it's floating by itself, or like the you have the front of it up against a, a platform, it will respawn during a restart of the server. So keep that in mind. So yeah, I'm pretty much left to maintain all of this. And it kind of sucks, but in the end... At least I don't have to share anything with anyone anymore, right? <laughs> Anyways, make sure to hit the like button, make sure to subscribe button, slash follow button. I'll see you guys in the next video. I'll let you know if my teammates actually decide to get back on, or where we end up going from here. Anyways, I'll see you guys again soon.